establishment of company power. India has been a popular destination for trade since ancient times. India had a flourishing trade with Europe, Africa, Middle East and Southeast Asia. There was a great demand in Europe for Indian spices, silk, textiles, muslin, indigo, precious stones, etc. This trade was particularly brisk during the first three centuries of Christian era. But the old trade routes through Egypt and Syria up to the Persian Gulf were closed in 7th century CE, when the Arabs conquered those countries. When Constantinople was occupied by Ottoman Turks in 1453, the land route was practically closed. As European nations had no ports on the shores of Mediterranean Sea, they were shut out from participation in the lucrative trade with the East. So, there arose the necessity of finding a non-Mediterranean sea route to India, the Portuguese. The Portuguese were the pioneers in finding a new alternative sea route to India. In 1498, Vasco da Gama, under the patronage of King Emmanuel, set out to India. He crossed the Cape of Good Hope and reached Calicut in India. Initially, the Portuguese controlled the trade route along the Malabar coast. Their position was consolidated by able generals like Almeida and Albuquerque who established their trade settlements in Goa, Daman and Diu. The Dutch East India Company In 1602, the Dutch founded the Dutch East India Company. As their main interest was trade, they concentrated their attention on the Spice Islands in the Far East. They established their trading centers at Surat, Baruch, Nagapattinam, Cochin, Masunipatnam. In 1658, they won Ceylon from the Portuguese. After intermittent wars and agreements with British, they gave up all the claims to India and concentrated only on Indonesian islands. Trivia The Spice Islands were a small group of islands to the northeast of Indonesia between Celebes and New Guinea. They were the largest producers of maize, nutmeg, cloves and pepper in the world. The English East India Company On 31st December 1600, Queen Elizabeth I granted the East India Company the monopoly to trade with the Eastern world for 15 years through a charter. It was a private company organized by a group of English merchants. Captain Hawkins, the ambassador of King James I, got a decree from Mughal Emperor Jahangir to open a factory at Surat in 1609. But this concession was revoked under pressure from the Portuguese. When British defeated Portuguese in 1612 at Surat, Jahangir granted a farman to British, allowing them to establish a permanent factory at Surat in 1613. In 1615, English ambassador Sir Thomas Rowe got the permission from the Mughal emperor to open more factories at Agra, Ahmedabad and Bharuj. The company bought the site of Madras in 1639 and also obtained permission to set up a fortified factory called Fort St. George. In 1651, the company established factories at Hooghly. In 1661, the company got islands of Bombay from Charles II at a nominal rent who got it from Portuguese as part of dowry of his wife. Further, in 1698, the company developed three villages into a city in Bengal and built the Fort William around the factory. The city came to be known as Calcutta. By this time, the company became successful in eliminating the influence of its rival powers in India and started to interfere in the political affairs. Trivia Fort St. George currently houses the Tamil Nadu Legislative Assembly and other official buildings. Trivia Between 1609 and 1698, East India Company established its factories almost all over India. Surat, Ahmedabad, Bharuch, Madras, Bombay, Calcutta, the French East India Company. The French were late in making their appearance on the Indian coast. In 1664, the French East India Company was founded and the French established themselves in Chandernagore, Bengal, Mahe, Kerala and Karaikal and Pondicherry on the eastern coast and Mauritius in the Indian Ocean. The French East India Company was established by Colbert, who was a minister of Louis XIV. It was largely a government-controlled company 
which depended on the French government for finances. Pondicherry became its headquarters and in 1742, French appointed Joseph Francois Duplay as the governor of its possessions in India. His ambition of establishing the French Empire in India led to the wars between the English and the French.